this is sample three. Okay, and if you scroll down here to the third paragraph, this is the paragraph I want to concentrate on. It's not a perfect grammatical piece, but it gives you the idea of what I mean when I say that I want you to tell me the story of your reading process. So take a look at how this writer does it here. Reading Hofstetter's essay, this should be analogy as a core of cognition, proved to be a challenging and re and rewarding experience. What many of many people, many students do is they don't introduce the essay uh, here at the beginning and make a transition between talking about your own uh, strategies of reading to his essay, and that's what you need to do. Um, so it proved to be challenging and rewarding experience. It afforded me the opportunity to look into and analyze how I read. So he's setting up the process of reading and talking about reading. The first line itself sets the reader up for a fairy tale like like peace. This confused me slightly. So he's talking about his 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 experience with it. And this is what I want. This com confused me slightly from reading his deep, almost philosophical title, Analogy as a Core of Cognition, to Once Upon a Time. The lead-in from the introduction throws any sort of traditional critical essay sort of form out, out of the window. So he's telling us what what he's starting to understand about about Hostetter. Presented with the two riddles, I wasn't sure exactly what I was reading. Again, a reflection on the reading. I questioned the movement from the fancy title to fairy tale to riddle and eventually to math class. This so he's set up the question here and then he says this transition made me feel a break in his transitions, the reader was posed with the questions, why do babies not remember events that happened to them, and why does each new year seem to pass faster than the one before? I found myself reading the riddles over and over again. Again, he's telling us what he's doing, um, almost as if accepting Hofstetter's challenge to answer the questions before moving forward. So he's questioning uh, his reading process. He's telling us what Hofstetter is doing, and then he's coming to a conclusion here as, as sort of a rite of passage onward. Hofstetter did have a point in the placement of these riddles. I did keep reading on, didn't I? He pro provided me with a lesson in varying my writing style to hold on to the reader's attention. So he's moving from talking about Hofstetter and his reading to what he learned from it as applied to his writing. Okay.